This guy just like follows me everywhere I go. It's kind of weird, but nah, um, we're up here at Mount Penn. There's a wildfire happening over on Never Sink Mountain right now on the North Face. So we're gonna go over and take a look at that um, from the Pagoda. I heard it's a bit of a mob scene up there, so hopefully it's not too insane. Um, but yeah, after we go take a look at that, then we're gonna jump into some uh, kind of training, training content. Um, he wants to learn how to turn and I know a little bit about how to turn. So we might even come back down here by the lot. There's a couple of good turns right here that we can use um, to try and just like drill some stuff. So, all right, enjoy. So we started off our ride with a little bit different um, choice of trail than we normally would since we're going straight over to the Pagoda. So we're starting out on A-line. I just bottomed out so hard. <laughs> that was sick though. Mud guard noises. This bike jumps so good. Nice. Yeah, we're gonna cut off A-line here and head across and get up to the pagoda. No! You all right? <laughs> <laughs> you good <laughs> guys this is one of the craziest things that i've seen especially anywhere around here um take a look you can see the that little point down there that's on fire um separate from the main burn There was a helicopter here a minute ago. Um, they just took off over that way. I'm not sure where they're filling up, but they're trying to drop water. All right, so we're gonna start working on some cornering stuff. Um, we came up here to these nice flat asphalt circles. Um, they're really meant for like flying model planes, but there's nobody here right now, so we can use them for some, uh, some learning. Um, anyway, so Ryan, I'm gonna have you go over there and ride towards me and um, put down a nice long flat turn around this center circle. So what I'm looking for here is how open to the turn his hips are, which not bad. Um, and then also his lean angle, which also didn't look bad. I think that we could probably tighten it up a little bit though. So what I was looking at there was your, um, kind of how open your hips are into the corner um, and how much lean angle you have out of your bike. It's not bad. You're actually at a pretty good starting point, um, but we could definitely get the bike over onto the side knobs a little bit more. And the way that you're going to accomplish that is basically you're going to be limited at some point here, take this. So just try and hold that straight. Cool. So when you're cornering, you're limited by how far you can lean the bike over. Right? So at some point you're going to hit your inside leg with your bike. So you got to get that leg out of the way and you can't, your knee doesn't bend that way. So you, you're going to have to angle your hips in order to open up your knee angle to lean the bike further. And the way that's gonna look when you actually corner, if you watch me, we're gonna open the hips into the turn 
and lean the whole bike and body. And we're just looking for that separation basically between the bike and body. So your bike, your body can stay upright and your bike can lean further because you're able to get that knee into the corner a little bit more. So basically focus on getting your hips open into the turn and your knee leaned so that you can push the bike down into the corner. That looked a lot better. So you can see how he's still staying centered over the bike, but getting that bike leaned in more, which is allowing him to get that tighter turn angle. What we're gonna do, we've got a section of trail here with uh, some nice flat turns. We're kind of further up just to get a little speed into it, but it's gonna be a right, left, right, left, where the first two are more open and the second two are tighter, or at least longer. They're probably about the same radius, um, but it'll give good progression through the line. And then I'm just gonna watch Ryan's form and we're gonna see uh, if he can kind of apply what we learned at the flat ground area earlier. Hanging it out there. Nice. Your weight is too far back. Okay. So it's not allowing you to bite the front end enough. So you're not getting the confidence in the front end. So just um, think chest to bars a little more, bend your arms a bit and um, focus on like getting the bike lean and still keeping your body weight forward. The other thing that's gonna help is the further forward you are, the more clearance you have between your saddle and your leg, your nose of your saddle may actually pass behind your knee and you'll have the ability to get the bike leaned over more. That looked better. One of the things that we noticed that Ryan was doing was uh, not breaking enough before the turn. Um, and I, I will insert some of the slow-mo video that I took on my iPhone just so that you guys can see um, kind of like what we're talking about. But basically, I don't know if he was braking in the turn or if he just had too much speed, but he wasn't getting enough grip. So I mentioned that he should, or I suggested slow down a little bit more before the corner. And he actually came through smoother and out of the corner faster. And that exit speed is always going to be the thing that matters. Good, good down that dude real good so i noticed something about ryan's whip form um we're gonna try and address real quick um, basically he's not setting the whip up the lip of the jump and it means that he's not able to get the back tire out as far um, so we're gonna see if we can make a change to that i'm gonna have him hit it once the way he's doing it now and then i'll tell him kind of what to change so we're gonna get a slow-mo clip before and then after um work on it a little bit and see if we can get it uh, looking a little bit cleaner So you guys saw in that first clip, very straight in line over the bike. Um, he's like just not quite off to the side enough. So Ryan, what you got to change is when you come up the lip, you want to kind of set up um, with your body over the left side of the bike, get your hips off to the side a little bit and the bike kind of out to the right a bit and kind of carve in an S turn, almost like you were going to throw a three on a snowboard, okay. um, kind of make that, that curve up the lip of the jump. And uh, that's going to help you get the back end out a little bit further. Got so it. go up and give that a couple shots and then uh, we'll grab a slow mo and see where you're at. All right, sick. So you guys can see the difference between the two clips, like huge, huge improvement. Nice job, Ryan. 
the only a couple runs difference between the two clips and absolutely nailed it. The back end of the bike's coming out a lot further. You can see the hips set up over the inside of the bike. Um, everything looks a lot cleaner, so that's cool. All right, following Ryan, gonna get to see the new technique in action. That was sick. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, hopefully you guys learned something. Um, I know we didn't do a ton, a ton of like training stuff, but a little bit of cornering, a little bit of jumping. So if you guys liked the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe for any future content. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.